Hi guys, so I'm about to film Elena's update video, and here she is, little Laners, and she is wearing her Oregon State shirt today. So go Beavers, if you're an Oregonian, you know exactly who Oregon State is. And she has her little pink white bow in, super cute. And I'm going to do her um, three month update today. And she is doing so good, as you can tell, her um, she can hold her head up really, really good now. And um, she's so much more playful. She has been smiling a lot more, which is really, really cool. It's so cool once your baby starts to smile and kind of interact a little bit more. She hasn't really um, laughed yet, and I think that's going to actually take her a while. I think she's going to be one of those babies that it's really, it's going to be really hard to get her to laugh because she tends to get kind of, um, she's very like, she looks around a lot. She's like one of those really observant babies where she gets distracted easily. So I have a feeling she's going to be kind of hard to get to laugh. But um, she smiles a lot. She loves playing. Um, I have those little plastic keys. They're like rainbow keys. And she loves playing with those. She loves to like hit them with her hands. That's like her favorite thing to do. And she also likes to kick things. So I like to lay her on the floor. And I take like a big toy. I don't know. Just any kind of toy that's like really big. And she loves to like kick it. She like kicks and kicks and kicks like crazy. It's like one of her favorite um, things to do when she plays. So she does that. She loves um, taking baths. She still loves it. She doesn't cry ever. She um, absolutely loves bath time. And I lately I've taken her out of her little um, newborn bath thing, you know, where you just like lay them in there and they like take a bath in that. Now she just takes a bath in the actual bathtub, which is a lot funner because now she can kick the water and kind of splash in the water, which she really likes to do. So that's really fun. And um, so she loves her bath times. And um, she is a spitty uppy baby. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, I gotta wipe off her shirt. Let me know. I don't think she has reflux because she doesn't get cranky. She doesn't like cry like she's gassy really. She just like spits up everything she eats. It just like comes out. And um, like I said, she's not like hurting or anything like that to where she's crying and then she spits up a bunch. She just like will randomly just like go bleh and will like go everywhere. She spits up a ton. It seems like she doesn't keep anything down. I'm like, how the heck are you gaining weight? It doesn't seem like she keeps anything down. But um, if you've had a baby that's very, very spit up -y, let me know if there's anything you did to like maybe help that or um, if there's anything to do to help that. Um, she is breastfed, so she doesn't drink formula. So I don't, I can't really switch her formula or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those really annoying things. It's just like I have to change her clothes like twice a day because she just gets soaking wet all over her clothes. Um, so that's that. What else? I haven't actually had an appointment for a while since her last appointment. Her next appointment is actually the end of November, so it's been kind of long since her last one. But um, that's when she'll be getting her second round of shots. And I'll also know kind of how much she weighs at that one. I'm guessing she's about 10... 11 pounds now um, because at her last appointment she was about nine pounds nine and a half pounds or something like that so that's what I'm guessing she probably is but I'm not gonna know till the end of November so um yeah that's going to be interesting to kind of see how much she weighs now because she is like so heavy and she just feels so big so big she is now look at her ladies look at how big you are do you see yourself in the camera Yeah, she is so big, and it's just so crazy. Um, she, I had to move out all of her newborn clothes, which was really, really sad. It's like, you know, it's exciting seeing your baby grow, but at the same time, it's really sad. Like, all of her newborn stuff just, like, does not fit her anymore. It's funny, though, because she fits into her three-month tops, but she still fits into some of her newborn pants. I think she has, like, really short legs. Um, it's really, really funny, but most of her newborn stuff are out and I had to move them out. It's really, really sad. And she's in size two diapers now, which is crazy. Like moving up a diaper size. It's just like, oh my gosh, you're growing so fast. So size two diapers. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, sleeping. She's been doing really good sleeping. Um, last video, she was sleeping like every, she was waking up like about every three hours or so. Now she's um, going really, really long stretches. At least she's had this like tiny little, um, like these last couple weeks, she's been sleeping so good. She'll sleep from like 9 to 3 or like 9 to 4. She's even slept from like 9 to 5 in the morning, which is like a really long stretch. 9 to 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's like a 7-hour stretch. So she's had some really, really good nights lately. So she'll wake up um, around like 4 or so, 
and then she'll usually go another three hours and then wake up again so um, it's really nice because I get that long stretch of sleep for me and um, she's I think it's just because she's been playing a lot more and stuff so she gets more tired and she doesn't sleep as much as she used to too during the day so I think she's just more tired at night so she'll just sleep really long hours so that's really nice and it kind of surprises me too because she is breastfed and they say like breastfed babies don't sleep as long because they get hungrier faster but she does really good she sleeps all the way till like five or four um so that's pretty cool oh my gosh baby you're covered in puke see i'm gonna have to change her probably after this video because she is soaking wet with throw up as far as i am concerned oh my god it's all over your pants too do you guys see that like was i not you guys probably totally saw her like throw up and i didn't even notice crazy girl um as far as I am concerned, um, I still haven't really lost any more of my baby weight. There's still a little bit there that wasn't there before, but I'm not, like, too concerned with it. Like, I feel fine in, like, how I look right now, but it's still not completely gone. Um, I'm not really doing anything to change that, though. I'm just way too busy to work out or go running or anything like that. Like, when Travis gets home from work, the last thing I want to do is just hand off the baby and be like, bye, I'm leaving to go work yeah. out, you know, because he had, like, a long day at work and stuff like that, so... Um, I don't really have a lot of time to go work out, which is fine, like eventually, oh my gosh. So yeah, I just don't really work out or anything like that, and as far as eating goes, I haven't really changed my diet either, so that's probably why I haven't seen really any change, but um, eventually, once I get less busy and stuff like that, and she gets a little bit older, then I'll probably start working out or something like that, but right now, I'm fine with how I look. The cats and the dogs love her, oh my gosh, it's so cute. If you watched my free friends tag, you saw... Um, or you heard me talking about Yuki and how she loves um, being next to Elena when she's nursing. I don't know why, but she just loves Elena when she's nursing. She like snuggles up to her and just like loves it. And I swear, she's like, she, Yuki is not really that big of a snuggler. And so it's just so funny because every time I nurse Elena, Yuki just comes running and it's like, okay, I want to come snuggle, you know. Um, and Appa, when she starts crying, you can tell Appa gets a little bit concerned, kind of like, you know, are you going to help her? And she, like, comes up and he, like, sniffs her and stuff like that. But I never feel worried about the animals near Elena. They never worry me. Like, I never think Oppa's going to attack or anything like that because Oppa's such a chill dog. Um, at first, I was, like, really careful and I, made, and I watched him, you know, like, and stuff like that. But he's actually really, really good around her and I, like, don't worry at all. Um, if anything, he's concerned about her, especially when she cries and things like that. Um, but all the animals do so, so well, you know. They're almost motherly to her, so that's kind of cute. Um, she still sleeps in her car seat. Her car seat is like a sleeping pill to her. I swear, like, I'll put her in her car seat and she'll sleep the whole entire time. Even if we're out for, like, three hours, she'll sleep the whole three hours. Like, her car seat is literally a sleeping pill. I don't know why she loves it so much, but she just sleeps. So I can just run errands and do anything that I need to do, and she will just sleep the whole entire time, and I don't have to worry about her waking up. I'm sure that's going to change eventually, but she just loves it, and she just sleeps the whole entire time. <laughs> She's getting a little bit fussy, so I'm going to have to go soon. But I do have a contest that I'm going to do for you guys. It's a, like a baby contest. You could um, enter this contest if you know somebody who's having a baby or if you're having a baby. Um, it's a perfect like baby shower gift or anything like that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So I'm going to go ahead and go get the um, contest prize. So I'll be right back. All right, so to finish off this video, I wanted to do a contest for you guys. Now, I was contacted by a company called um, Happy Pad. I think it's Happy Pad. It might be Hobby Pad, but I'm pretty sure it's Happy Pad. And they wanted to do a giveaway for my subscribers. Now, I was really excited about this, and they were such a nice company. Oh my gosh, so nice. And what it is, is a changing pad. And it's just a changing pad cover. I have my changing pad that came in my diaper bag inside. But it's just a changing pad cover. And it has this quilted side on this side. And then on the back side, it's um, a really, really soft material. And I picked this really cute pattern, and it says Lainey Bug, because that's what I call Elena, is Lainey Bug. And you can get anything you want on here. You can get her name or his name. You can get anything you want embroidered onto it. And um, it's absolutely adorable. It's reusable, washable, um, environmentally friendly, really, really nice, um, soft material. It's awesome, and I absolutely love it. I use this every time I take her out and I need to change her out in public. Um, because it's so soft and it's easy to fold up. You just um, fold it once and then fold it twice and then you just stick it into your diaper bag. And it has a little Velcro here that you um, can close it up with. 
So it's really, really nice, and I'm going to be giving one of these away, and I'm really excited. Like I said, it's perfect for um, a baby shower if you know somebody that's having a baby soon, and it's perfect if you're having a baby. So a lot of people will be able to use this. Um, and it comes in two sizes. It comes in a large size and a small size. I got the large size. I could have gotten the smaller size one, but I didn't know what the measurement of my pad was. Um, but I just got the bigger one just in case. But it does come in two sizes, and it's really awesome. So if you want to win this happy pad, there's a few rules that you have to follow. Um, you have to be subscribed to this channel, obviously, and um, you also have to be subscribed to the Happy Pad YouTube and the Happy Pad Facebook. You have to like the Facebook page, and um, then the links to that will be in the lower bar, so you don't have to go searching for it. And then you have to comment on this video to enter. It's like the whole entering process. And what you have to tell me are your favorite baby names, which I love baby names. It's one of my guilty pleasures. Like I knew what my favorite baby names were since I was in like high school. Like I would write down all the names that I liked. Like I have this weird infatuation with like finding baby names that I like I don't know so I want you to comment down below what your favorite baby names are and we're going to choose it randomly through random.org and then um, we'll pick a winner and then happy pad will send over your thing and then you can pick the colors the um, what you want on the front of it and you can choose the pattern and design and all that kind of thing so it's really fun and perfect like I said for baby showers and all that kind of thing so that's pretty much it and I hope you guys like this update video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, like I said, I usually, when I do these videos, like I don't have time to plan. I just kind of sit down and talk. So um, I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.